Hi, Mystery Baker here. Welcome to the tutorial. This is step one. Step one on how to make this adorable fondant dog. Now, it will be split into two parts so that if you don't need to find any help with making the body, the legs, etc., then you can skip to part two, which shows you how to make the head. Either way, it's such a fun thing to make, and I, I promise you it will help with your modelling skills making something like this because um, it uses texture and it builds the face up, and that will really help the beginner in model making and learning how to produce pretty results. Okay, so here we go, part one. Okay, hello, hello, hello. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, this is, as you know, is going to be a, a tutorial for beginners. So please, if you're an advanced um, caker and it's not for you, then that's fine. Just click away. <laughs> but for anyone who is um, new to cake decorating, this might be just down your street. So I'm just gonna have a quick sip. Cheers. There's no alcohol in that, I promise. <laughs> and. Uh, away we go um so what i've got here is i have my fondant already colored ready to rumble i used white fondant and i colored it with a little bit of yellow a little bit of cream and a touch of brown and i've got this kind of dirty yellow color <laughs> doesn't sound very advertising but i didn't want it to look too cartoony um, I wanted it to look kind of like the Labrador um, kind of look. So the colour of a Labrador. But you can use any colour you want. This is not a test. Use your own imagination. Um, so what I've done with this particular piece of fondant, I've added some CMC Tylos powder. And for those new to my channel and new to baking, caking and cake decorating, CMC Tylos powder is something that I add to fondant and the reason I do that is when I'm model making it just keeps its shape better. That's all. That's all it's used for. Okay, so I'm going to give this a little bit of a, a need to bring it back to life because it has been sat around while I've been making my cuppa. So how's everyone doing? I hope you're having a wonderful evening or a wonderful day. Um, what have you all been up to? <laughs> I'd love to know. Um, so I've brought that back to life. As you can see. Hello. <laughs> um, and we're going to make the body with this. Okay. So. How I do that is I place it in my hand. I'm going to try and make a ball shape at first. So a smooth ball, you don't want any cracks, even though we're going to be adding texture to the body, we don't want to add any cracks to it. We don't want, we don't want texture, if that's what I mean. We want it as smooth as we can, okay? Voila. <laughs> and now we're going to make a cone shape. So what I do is I, with, with a finger, any finger, usually, the, this one. Um, sorry, I have got a little bit of icing sugar on me. Um, I'm just going to roll the end of the fondant. Can you see? Yeah, because we want to make the neck. Okay, and then once we've done that, we then use the whole hand on it, like so. So basically, we're making a cone shape. He's going to be kind of puppy-like, so I don't want him too skinny. <laughs> and I certainly don't want him too big, but um, I just want him to maybe have... Can you see? Can you see? A little bit of a tummy. And I'm going to sit him down. And what I tend to do is... And here's a little tip. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but it's something I do. Not all the time, but I do it. 
And so put a little bit of fat, vegetable fat, in a bowl. You can use butter or you can use um, Tyrex, I think it's called. And it's just a, basically a block of vegetable fat and I do use it, but I just haven't got any in it at the moment. And I just get hold of a little piece and I just brush my hands with it. So it's a little bit greasy. <laughs> and then I give that a rub. A little bit of a massage. Ugh. Ooh. Okay. There we go. And then if you wanted to, with your hands, you can smooth it off. Now, I don't want to. I don't need to for this because I'm going to be adding texture. But if you're, you ever find that your fondant is drying out, which is quite possible when you're doing model making, just putting a little bit of oil onto your hands and then kneading it into the fondant and rolling it back up again it will bring it back to life that's a little tip i'm always thinking of my beginners and my newbies who are new to making models now i will be adding um you can either add a cocktail stick or a piece of spaghetti if you want to make it 100 percent edible to the um body and that will support the head okay so i'm going to just go and get that because i didn't get my spaghetti or my toothpicks um and i'll be right back okay so instead of using a cocktail stick which i do regularly i thought i'd use some pasta this time so just a bit of dried spaghetti that's all it is and all you do is snap a little bit off like i have here and if you can hear movement it's my dogs <laughs> okay and then with a little bit of edible glue you don't need a lot I just brush a little bit twisting the pasta as I go onto there now you can use water you don't have to use edible glue and how I use make my own edible glue is I just add a little bit of that CMC that magic CMC to my Tylos powder, uh, sorry, to water, mix it through, leave it for a little while, and it's ready to go. I mean, I use sterilised water, which is just a boil. I boil the kettle. That's that's basically all I do. <laughs> okay. Um, so now we've we've got the body prepared. Now you can use any tool you want to make some texture on on the body. Um, I'm going to use my famous scribing tool as you can see and I'll be using this pointed end but you can if you haven't got a lot of tools at the moment you can use anything you want and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start making indentations into the body I'm going to lift it up actually because it's much easier and I'll try and come a little bit closer and I'm just going around I'll just do one section on camera just to give you an idea of what I'm doing. And then you can replicate it yourself. As I say, these tutorials may be long and drawn out, but I like to do it without missing anything out because beginners don't know all the little tricks and, and things. So I want to cover everything. I don't want to do one of them fast forward videos that I see where it looks so simple and then when you go to do it yourself you realize it's not as easy as it looks so i've just put some texture on i hope i hope that's picking up and i will continue all the way around this you can see i will continue all the way around until it's complete but it's basically i'm scratching the fondant that's all i'm doing so rather than bore you because I have been known to <laughs> I'll go off camera and I'll scratch all the way around the body and I'll be right back okay I'm back back with a vengeance <laughs> so what I've done is I've got a little bit of the yellow that I'll be using and I've just added a little bit of CMC to this particular thing I kind of had my CMC as I go when I'm model making I don't usually add it to the full amount because if I do it can sit there and start to dry out and you know you get distracted 
and you know things happen especially when you're at home you know <laughs> kids want to drink they want fading or the dogs you know or somebody comes to the door or rings you so by adding it as you go it it won't dry out basically so we're going to start with the legs and the reason why i'm going to start with the legs first is that i'm just going to give this a little time for this this here this spaghetti to set and for this body to start to dry out because we want it firm because the weight of the head could squash okay and as we know gravity takes a hold and things do tend to drop a little in the drying process that's just a little pointer there so i've got some fondant i've had added some cmc and i'm going to make the front legs so here we go so roll it into a ball and then make a sausage shape by rolling on a flat surface I want quite chunky legs <laughs> I want quite chunky legs now I might need to do a bit of trimming it, it, it doesn't matter at this stage but um, this is how I get my two legs so I roll it into a sausage like this and then I kind of find halfway uh, it doesn't have to be exact I mean you can measure if you want and I just half the fondant and that's each leg done like that so we're going to start with this leg first roll it into a ball everything starts mainly when model making is a ball <laughs> but um we're going to make the legs so i in the middle of the fondant with your finger start to roll and then push up so go up the leg okay so you've kind of started to make your foot, your foot, I'll do it on my hand so it's closer. I'll do it, I'll show you. Your foot, can you see? Or paw in this instance. <laughs> okay, and then as we go up, we roll thinner. Okay, I'm just going to, it's hard to find where's the best place to put this. But um, basically, basically, I, I do it better on a surface, but it's just hard for you to see, you know, I want you to see. You see, there's his first leg. <laughs> okay. And then with my thumb, I tend to push. Okay, so it, yeah. And then I replicate that. I replicate that. So again, roll into a ball like that. Push that to the side. Again, find the center. Rolling it outwards. Put it in your hand. Show you what I'm doing. And there's the foot and I kind of push push on that can you see can you see and then I put them side by side to see whether or not they match and this one seems to be larger so I'm going to just roll it a little bit more okay like that and I put them together I look at them and I look at them together and they're kind of kind of the same <laughs> like that so I'm happy kind of with that now I'm not looking because it's to the side of me but you can see once they go on what they will look like And these were his front legs. Like that. Can you see how they'll go on? Okay, so I'm going to bring this towards me because I need to glue it down. Sorry, I need to glue it down. But um, let me just see in person. Yeah, they're coming. Uh, they're good. Now, when you get to the end, I want you to ch change it up a bit. I want you to. push down 
like that and press it down okay and when you get to the end of that do the same and press down like that see what I'm doing I hope so not too thin but thin enough and then we're going to glue them on so here we get a little bit of water or edible glue this is firmed up a little bit and what I tend to do is I end, I put the glue on the body rather than on the leg because when I'm picking it up I could get glue residue on my fingers and it gets very sticky and you end up getting fluff from the air sometimes <laughs> all over your fingers and it could add fluff or texture to your body and I don't want that so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on that section and I'm going to stick one down when I'm happy I push it into the top okay and then I do the same with the other leg it doesn't matter if they're not the same height and I'll explain later okay And I will try and face this towards you. Like that. All right. And then I'm going to just nip these off. So just like that. I'm using this is actually it's not a ruler. It's an it's a sharp knife. I don't know. It's a sharp blade. Um, but you can use anything you wish. I'm just going to go right through the fondant there and right through the fondant there and then remove what I don't require. Okay, and then I'm going to press them down like that. And there's a reason you will find out later. <laughs> it doesn't matter if there's any mess here because you're not going to see it. I just put a little bit of texture in there and then on the feet I push in and make poor indentations push in and make poor indentations like so and I wouldn't worry, as I say, with this. And then what I do now is, I don't know if you can see, I make some lines and some texture on the legs to match It's starting to dry this fondant on the legs, but I work quicker. I'll try to work a little bit quicker. It's just to add a little bit of texture on here. And I'll try to get as much done as I can. I can't see at the side. I'm actually looking at, you're looking at it from kind of the front. I'm not. <laughs> I'm looking at it from a strange angle, but you know, life. <laughs> and we've got his legs together on this one uh, can you see there's his legs there's his legs and that basically is that section done when I come back I'll show you how to do the back legs I'll be right back and we're back again so we're going to start on the le back legs and it's the same process the only thing is I use a little bit more fondant to do the back legs and it's a, they look slightly different so I want to show you how I do that so again I roll it into a sausage okay and try and make it as even as you can it doesn't have to be perfect if you make a mistake boys and girls ladies and gentlemen just start again and then half the fondant and there's your two back legs might not be exact sometimes they're not 
sometimes they are but Woo! <laughs> this is live coming at you I make mistakes I'm not perfect and unfortunately I don't have the technical ability to do this any other way than not look at the model <laughs> So most of the time when I'm putting the elements together, you're seeing the model, but I'm not. It's facing you, not me. And I apologise. One day I will get something that will help me do it where I can see as well as you. <laughs> so ball. Now this is slightly different. So this one, one, you find your finger halfway, so in the centre of the ball and roll. I'll do it on my hand so you can see. Okay. So two ends, the two ends are bigger than the center. All right. And then I want you to push this end up. So it almost looks like a bugle horn, if that makes any sense. And then I want you to press that one down. I will show you and if it's not press that one down push it up oh sorry I'm going back to this I've just put my fingernail in that dear me but yeah and that's basically going to be your back leg okay I'll just check it for sizing perfect so I'll do off camera the same with this piece of fondant and I'll show you how to put them together. I'll be right back guys. So I've done the back leg shapes and I'm going to put them on now. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So I'm going to push this to the side so that you can see. Unfortunately for me, I can't see. <laughs> you know, trials and tribulations, but I just love showing you how I do things. So adding the glue to the body not the leg and put a little bit of glue on there okay and you pick up your leg and push it on like so okay like that like so can you see now from the front like that oh he's adorable isn't he and then while he's there I'll put in some indentations for his toes can you see that I hope so I hope they're picking up but um and then just some scratch marks same principle as you've done with all of the body and all of the, le the front legs we're going to do the same with the back I'm just adding texture okay like that and then off camera I'm going to duplicate and place this leg on and I'm rather than bore you I'll be back as if by magic okay okay voila <laughs> the legs are on so before I even tackle the head I'm going I've put the back legs on and I'm going to now create a blaze now you don't have to you can forget about it and not bother but I'm going to put a little bit of a blaze here and you I'm making it the same color as the dog but you can make it white fur if you have got a black and white dog you can make it as generic as you want I mean this is going to tr kind of look like a Labrador puppy ish but it, you it doesn't have to be nobody will know you can just do a generic it's quite generic it could be anything in any color so I've got a little bit of um fondant and I'm going to try and press it roll it into a ball I'm going to press it and try and make it into a teardrop shape okay can you see all right and then I'm just going to measure it yeah maybe needs a little bit thinner a little bit thinner not too thin because I want to add texture and if I make it too thin it'll scratch it too much and it will go through the fondant and tear it and so you have to be quite so yeah 
So I'm going to cut that down using this ruler knife with a sharp blade and just cut it there. See? And I'm just going to nip those edges up. Nip those edges up. Oh, it looks like a fox. <laughs> but um, yeah. Let me just measure it now. I can't see it, but I'll have to look in the viewfinder. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, that will do. So with a little bit of edible glue, not too much here. You don't want a lot of edible glue. So kind of take off any excess off your brush. You just want to add a little bit of the glue around the neck, wider at the neck, and then thinning out towards the front. And then... Oh, yeah. Now I, as I say, you, you'll have the luxury of being able to look face on. I'm having to use my viewfinder. But as you come up to the neck, press it in and round. You can always cut off excess, okay? You can always cut off the excess. So I'm just pressing down gently. Trying to keep its shape. Trying. Trying. I'm very trying. <laughs> and then with your scalpel, subscribing tool, as I call them, I'm just going to start making some texture. Okay. All right. And this is going to be his blaze. Going all the way down. Trying to keep that triangular shape, trying, not always easy, not always easy, and uh, just pushing down here to add, it's just adding texture, I'm sorry if this isn't picking up, but I'm um, it's very difficult for me to do it like this, but I will try anything to just to help you guys. As long as you get the idea. This is just, this is not for a cake. I'm not making a dog cake. This is just for you guys. So I've made the blaze. And that can be any colour, as I've said. And I'm going to let that dry for a couple of minutes. And when I come back, it's coffee part two time. <laughs> but when I come back... I will start with the head and that's where the fun begins. I'll be right back folks. 